us off. Let's talk about the Supreme Court uh, restricting police powers to enter a home without a warrant. Now, when I was sent this article, I thought this was supposed to have always been the case. Like I thought it was, too, but uh, I mean, obviously, uh, the past history has shown us that it hasn't been the case. So, recipes of Breonna Taylor. Uh, I mean, my thoughts on it. I just feel like I feel like. I hope that we are moving in the right direction. Things seem like it's starting to move in the right direction, but I just don't know because at the same time, like, I don't know. It just it doesn't seem like a lot has happened recently, or I don't know if um if it's being highlighted as much. Um, but I don't know. How do y'all feel? Y'all feel like things are starting to move? Like, I don't know. I feel like as Biden came in office, he seemed like he's trying to do some stuff. Like, <laughs> it seemed like he's trying. Like, I don't know. He's trying to stay awake. <laughs> he's trying to do some stuff. Sleepy Joe. But I, don't I mean, know. um, yeah, that was that was a uh, that was an interesting uh, article to read. Um, and I think it, it's something simple, but I think it, that it will it will go a long way. Just when it comes to. Um, protecting minorities and people of color and um so yeah i i, I salute this uh, supreme court for ruling for that that was that was like i said simple you know what i'm saying it should have been the case but now that we have it it's it's, it's, it's a good look how did y'all feel about um uh, what's his name the guy i'm trying to think he just got sentenced uh, Chauvin. Tw- yeah 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 he just got sen- yeah he just got sentenced to 22 and a half years how did y'all feel? Because I've heard, I've seen like controversy. I've seen people who's like, he shouldn't, he should have got more. 22 and a half like, years is a long time, but he deserved longer. Mm-hmm. He deserves to die in there. Mm-hmm. And he's going to be in PC, you know, for like for two years. They're going to let that nigga out. Yeah, like if they put him in gym pop, I feel much better. Yeah. I feel great. Let him lose. Cause he ain't lasting two weeks in gym pop, nah. maybe two days. They they own him in gym, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, twenty two years is a long fucking time, but he he deserved he deserved more than that. He deserved life, life for life. In that case, yes, for sure. That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if that's tough. Nah, because the way I look at, it, I mean. Um, and the way you murdered that man, I don't think that's murdered that. too. Yeah, I don't think that's that. Murder anybody else? Like, come on now. If that was a black cop on a white person's neck, do you think he would have got twenty two years, or do you think he would have got life? Probably got life. But see, my thing is, my thing is not the twenty two and a half years. I feel like it's just we not equal, basically. Like it's different judgment. Yeah. So that I don't have a problem with the twenty two and a half years. It's that. When I think about how a lot of the brothers been done, especially just for less, then I'm like, it throws it off. But I'm not, I'm, I just want those situations to be fixed. Like people who's serving a lot of time for like selling weed or whatnot, they need to be let out. Like the 22 and a half years, I have no, yeah, exactly. (laughs) Especially in the South. Yeah. Like I have no, the 22 and a half years, like, I mean, he going to be in there for a minute. That's a long time. That is a long time. Like, does he need life? I mean, I don't, I mean, I he can use. I mean, he can use. He can use. I mean, he need that. He can use it. Nah, um, he can use it. Nah, he don't need to live. <laughs> he need that L for sure. Because that's the that's the mental of it. Like in 22 years, you still feel like you got a chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get out one day. But if that L is on there, that life, mm-hmm. and with how big but, that story got to, yeah, that would have been the perfect start to us actually getting somewhere. Mm-hmm accountability yeah but now they want to make us wait again sadly and by yeah. waiting again somebody has to die again think about that mm-hmm. for us to get what we deserve somebody has to die again who gonna be the who gonna be the that's like fucking sheep. crazy that's wild no that that, that is crazy yeah oh well, i was just about to say something i forgot what you it was just piggybacking off what you had just said i forgot what you had just me said, though, yeah oh, i'll be talking shit bro you gonna Catch up. <laughs> I don't want to be remembering <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Man. Um, what was I saying? Mean, it was something crazy. Man. It was something crazy. <laughs> I had something crazy for you, man. That's all right, bro. You rambling. Um, I'm trying I to think what you... This damn near. 
Like what the mental aspect of twenty two years? Like oh, that's what I was gonna oh, yeah, say. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that would have just been like you know mm-hmm. the first step towards accountability mm-hmm. and people actually trying to make a change. Yeah, and see what's gonna happen. Do sometimes they feel like at certain points they'd be like, okay, we just need to give them enough just to shut them up. They yeah. don't pander to me. Yeah, for you sure. You know I feel like saying? that's I feel like that's what it's always been. Yeah, I feel like it's we don't keep the pressure on like. We accept what they give us, and then the next time something happens, we want to be uproar again. And then it's like, like I'm gonna say this. Hopefully, this don't come across the wrong way, but you know, hopefully it do. It is what it is. Like, there's were situations with like, you know, I would say Asian people, mm-hmm. and then the whole, and then I'm, I'm I'm all good. I'm like I'm all in support. Like stop Asian hate. But I'm just saying, like it does make me also think like black folks have been going through a lot and we haven't got nearly a change and it's been back to back reoccurring like since i mean forever basically it's been forever so i'm like when is we gonna get like a real law that's gonna be set in stone for us too exactly so i have nothing against like i'm with stop asian hate but i can also also feel the same way of like when we gonna get the same like treatment Mm-hmm. When we gonna get a law passed for us too? So that's what I think I'm we've thinking. been we've been screaming to stop black people hate for how long? They since always change here, but they since they yeah. brought us here. <laughs> when we gonna get like a law for us though? Like that's what I'm saying. So when you really think about it, like because what you're saying, like a lot of the laws be for people of color or minorities, and we're just supposed to be included. You know, it's mm-hmm. there's no law that's just for black people. They, like they specifically, done it. The, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, they uh. They passed Juneteenth, but they also are trying to pass that that school uh, program where they don't teach about you know slavery and things like that. They always trying so to give us holidays. They give you a holiday. They always they give us st- holidays. They stop man. teaching about it. Like what? The they, f- they always be like, I, I give you that. I gave you a month. I, I gave you that you holiday. Did. But I'm yeah. like, like that hasn't changed anything. We haven't got a law. We just keep getting holidays. Like I'm feeling like. So that has nothing like, against. Hey, you, need, you need some time off, my nigga. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm like, I didn't even get a day. I didn't get that day off. Yeah, I, didn't, tripping, I didn't even get Juneteenth <laughs> off. And everybody, like, <laughs> why do everybody get it off? Why? Only only black people should get it off. Man, White people man. take your ass to work. Man. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hispanics. I love y'all. But y'all got to go to work, too. Like, Asians, I'm sorry. Love y'all. But y'all got to go to work, too. I'm just, like, yeah, this is just for us. Like, so yeah, I just want to say that because you can feel both ways. Like I can feel like I'm in support of stop Asian hate. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely in support of that. But I can also look at myself and be like, we black and we haven't got nothing like you that. Can. So we can have both. I know to nowadays you feel like most people always be like it's one or the other. No, you can feel both. So. Yeah, you can be a little envious sometimes if somebody gets something that you a little jealous like. Damn, I've been asking for this for how long? Did you just gonna like, give it to them? Like, it is. <laughs> they feel like they trying to like pin you against each other. Like, but that's what they do. Is yeah. That really? Like, so now, oh, we black people mad because Asians got this, and now they like, see, look, look at the black people. See, they don't really like y'all. Like y'all think you know exactly. What I'm like, it's like no, we want civil rights for everyone. We want equality for everyone. But we also been fighting for it for ourselves, too. For us, exactly. <laughs> for black people, we feel like we went through more the longest. And we just want it now. Man. Like, give everybody theirs, yeah. But can we guess? We want our hours first, period. And we not a first. holiday or a month. Like, we need some, we need some real, like, something that's going to, uh, like, make some change. Like, some laws being passed. Something that's going to help um, take us. the weight off our shoulders. Yeah, like. You see, uh, it's, it's like that coal line. It took a black president to tell a Japanese sorry, but who the fuck will tell my nigga sorry? Man, <laughs> that's deep. That's like, true. It's, it's, it's crazy. Mm-hmm.